हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई कीड़ा टाइटल ऑफ द लेक्चर इज न्यूट्रल ग्राउंडिंग सो इन न्यूट्रल ग्राउंडिंग सिस्टम द न्यूट्रल ऑफ द सिस्टम और रोटेटिंग सिस्टम और ट्रांसफार्मर इज कनेक्टेड टू ग्राउंड सी न्यूट्रल ग्राउंडिंग इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द पावर सिस्टम डिजाइन बिकॉज द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द सिस्टम रिगार्डिंग शॉर्ट सर्किट स्टेबिलिटी प्रोटेक्शन इज ग्रेटली इफेक्टेड बाय द कंडीशन ऑफ न्यूट्रल अ थ्री फेज सिस्टम कैन बी ऑपरेटेड इन टू पॉसिबल वेज फर्स्ट वे with ungrounded neutral second way with a grounded neutral first with ungrounded neutral see in an ungrounded neutral system the neutral is not connected to the ground three phase phase a phase b phase c and this is neutral so as you see in this diagram the neutral is isolated from the ground therefore this system is also known as isolated neutral system or free neutral system now second one is the grounded system in ground in neutral grounded system the neutral of the system is connected to ground for three phase phase a phase b and phase c so this neutral in this is connected to ground in grounded neutral system so because of the problems associated with ungrounded neutral system the neutrals are grounded in most of the high voltage system now some advantages of neutral grounding see first advantage of neutral grounding voltage of phases are limited to the line to ground voltage second advantage surge voltage due to arcing ground is eliminated third advantage over voltage due to lightning discharge or ground over voltage is due to lightning discharge to ground another advantage it provide improve service reliability another advantage it provide greater safety to personal and equipment now methods of neutral grounding there are four methods of neutral grounding first one is solid grounding second resistance grounding third reactance grounding and last peterson coil grounding or we can say it as resonant grounding now first method is solid grounding see selection of the type of grounding depends on the size of the unit system voltage and protection scheme to be used so solid grounding a power system is said to be effectively grounded or solid grounded when the neutral of a generator or power transformer or grounding transformer are directly connected to ground 
through a conductor of negligible resistance and reactance so a part of the system or system is said to be solidly grounded when the positive sequence impedance of the system is greater or equal to zero sequence resistance and positive sequence reactance is three times greater than or equal to the zero sequence reactance so see in this figure so this system consists of a three phases phase a phase b and phase c phase a phase b and phase c so if the single ground fault occur in phase a c fault in phase a occur so in phase a the voltage of the phase become zero however the remaining two phases phase b and phase c will still have the same voltage as before so when the fault occur in the system in addition to the charging current the power source also feeds the fault current and for solid neutral grounding system it is necessary that the ground fault current should not exceed for solid neutral grounding system it is necessary that ground fault current should not exceed 80% of the three phase fault it is usually used for keeping the fault current within safe limits now second one is the resistance grounding now in this type of neutral grounding resistance grounding the neutral of the system as shown in this diagram this is in so neutral of the system is connected to ground through one or more resistance so resistance grounding limits the fault current it protects the system from transient over voltages from transient over voltages and the value of resistance used in the neutral grounding system as shown in this figure should not be very high nor be very low because very low resistance makes the system to solidity grounded and very high resistance makes the system ungrounded so value of resistance is chosen such that the ground fault current is limited now next one is the reactance grounding so in reactance grounding the reactance is inserted between the neutral and the ground suppose this is a three phase system phase a phase b phase c so in reactance grounding system this is neutral a reactance is inserted between neutral and ground limit the fault current so to minimize the transient over voltages the ground fault current in a reactance grounded system should not be less than 25% of the three phase fault current so to minimize transient over voltages ground fault current in a reactance grounded system should not be less than 25% of the three phase fault current three phase fault current and the last one is the peterson coil grounding last one is the peterson coil 
grounding so in peterson coil peterson coil is an iron core reactor that's why it is also known as reactor grounding so this is connected between transformer neutral and ground see this diagram this is connected between transformer neutral and ground this is the peterson coil so uh, this is used for limiting the capacitance at fault current see in this diagram it is used for limiting the capacitance earth fault current which is flowing when the line ground fault occurs in the line so the coil is provided with the tipping see this coil is provided with the tipping so that it can be adjusted with the capacitance of the system tipping so that it can be adjusted with the capacitance of the system now in this so the reactance is selected so that the current through the reactor is equal to the small line charging current which would flow into the line to ground fault see line to ground fault on phase b so consider line to ground fault in phase b at point f see in this diagram line to ground fault in phase this phase b at point f so the line to ground voltage of phase b becomes zero and the voltage of the phases r and y increases from phase value to line value so resultant of ic this is equals to icr plus icy see this ic is equals to icr plus icy and icr is equals to vcr upon xcr and icy this is equals to vcy upon xcy and this vcr this is equals to root 3 times of phase voltage upon xc and this is equals to root 3 times of phase voltage upon xc so see this icr this is equals to icy and from the phasor diagram ic this is equals to root 3 icr this is equals to root 3 icy so see this phase from this phasor diagram ic this i this ic this is equals to root 3 times of icr and this is equals to root 3 times of icy so ic this is equals to root 3 into root 3 vp upon xc so this is equals to 3 vp upon xc now for balance condition ic this is equals to il so if ic is equals to il then there will be no current through the ground and there will be no tendency of the arcing ground to occur so with the help of peterson coil neutral grounding arc resistance is reduced to such a small value that it is usually self extinguishing therefore peterson coil is also known as ground fault neutralizer or arc suppression coil Thank you